Hello, my name is Pedro. I'm with the Builder All team, and today I'll be showing you how you can create your first website and how you can connect the domain you have onto that website. It's a very simple process, and we're going to be showing this on this video very quickly for you guys. Okay, so here I am on my dashboard. Naturally, I'm going to access the Builder All website builder so we can quickly uh, have access to the tool. Um, here you see the websites that you already have uh, built on your website and on your uh, account, sorry. Um, and if you want to create a new one, all you need to do is click on create new website here or on the top. As soon as you do so, you're gonna be redirected to the template page. And this is where we are arriving right now. As you can see here, we have a lot of templates that you can use in order to begin constructing your website. They will vary on niche, on the themes, on the different types of pages that you can have on your funnel and on your website. And you can filter between those types of pages right here. You can select for website, you can browse on the industry, the color, maybe the theme you want, um, a theme that already fits your color scheme or your branding, you can browse through that here or you can choose a single type um, a single page and you can find that that type here whether it's a lead magnet a thank you page a capture page it's up to you or of course if you want you can use a blank template and begin um, constructing your website from scratch you can see uh, and preview the the templates by clicking on preview here system will redirect you to a published version of that template where you can access, you can browse, you can click on the element, you can have um, actual in interaction with the template because it is a published version of what you are choosing. And once you decide that that's the one that you want, you can click on select this, simply click on get started and the system will build the website for you. Once the website is um, ready, the system uh, will automatically redirect you to the editor. And that's where you're going to edit and add new elements to your website. Every single website will have, um, will be individual and can be individually edited. Simply click on this little pencil right here and you'll see that the menu is gonna open on the side here, so text, and you can edit the element and this is valid for all elements it can be an image it can be a video or it can be a text or anything really if you want to add new elements you need to come here on add you have the possibility to add whole panels um, we have a lot of uh, templates for the different types of panels that we have you can browse through those as well or you can add individual elements such as text, buttons forms uh, boxes, everything that you may have on your website, images, lists, really anything, you just click, let's say you're on email marketing form, we will choose the best form for us and we will simply drag and drop it on to our screen. Once our website is done, we can click here on save website and every single change that you made will be saved. You can click on publish if you already want your website to be online. but before you get it online, you want to make sure that it has your own domain and not this standard uh, website builder URL. You want it to have your own domain. So we're going to show you how to do that. There is already a button here where you can click to be redirected to that point, but we're going to show you how you can find that on the website settings on the builder itself. All right, we're back at the website builder. You can see all my websites and you can see the website that I just created right here. Now I can click here on settings. I can select the settings here on top. And now I am on the website settings. This is the page where you're going to make a lot of configurations like the behind the scenes of your website when it comes to script, SEO, analytics, you can add global elements such as a header, a pop-up, or a footer. Um, and right here, we're gonna focus on the option, on the domain option. You just simply need to click that. You can fill out your domain, mydomain.com. This domain could have been purchased on Builderall or it could have been an external domain. That's really 
not important at this moment. If you don't have a domain, you have the ability to buy one really quickly through Builderall right here. If you already have one, simply type it, click on connect, confirm, and your domain will be connected to your account. Now, you can go back to the builder and you can begin accessing your website using the domain that you have.